This question has been taken from NZQA Level 2 Maths paper on nonlinear graph of 2011. Okay, so let's read the question. The cross section of a road tunnel can be modeled by parabola. The tunnel is 4.5 meters high, high and 5 meters wide at the road level as shown in the diagram. So this is the diagram. So this is a cross section of the tunnel which has the shape of parabola. And uh, okay, so let's read the next part. A loaded truck has a rectangular cross section which is 2.9 meters wide. The top of the truck is 3.3 meters above the ground. Will the truck fit through the tunnel? So this is a problem application of nonlinear graph. So this is a parabola. So the first thing we need to do is write the equation of this parabola. So I'm going to say, well, let me take this as my y-axis and this as the x-axis. And this is the origin, which is 0, 0. Okay, so I can say if this is uh, as y-axis is symmetrical over, uh, or this is the mirror line or the line of symmetry, and if this tunnel is 5 meters wide, I can say this point would be negative 2.50. And this point is 2.5 comma 0. And this is the vertex, which is 4.5 meters above 0, 0. So this vertex, or the vertex can be written as 0 comma 4.5. So, well, to write the equation of this parabola, I know this is a transformation of y is equal to x squared. So let me draw the graph of y is equal to x squared. So this is a y and this is your x your y is equal to x squared, the basic parabola is somewhat looks like this, okay? So this is y is equal to x squared, where 0, 0 is the vertex or the turning point. So when I look at this parabola, I can see that it has gone upside down. So this has to be a negative, okay? And then it has gone up 4.5, and there is a stretch factor. So it is pulled on both ends like this. So it has gone upside down, it's gone up, and then it is pulled. So to incorporate or to find all this transformation, we can write any, the general form of the equation would be y is equal to a times ax squared plus 4.5. Now a would a would be negative, uh, the, ne the negative value of, the negative will tell you, tell us that it's, it's flipped over, it's gone upside down, and the value will tell us the stretch factor. That means it is pulled by bo on both ends, it is pulled like this, okay. So to find A, we are going to substitute this 2.5 into this equation. So let's do that. I think I can do it in this space. Let me use a different color. So if I put 2.5 as x and y as 0, I can write 0 is equal to a times 2.5 squared plus 4.5. So this is 0 is equal to 6.25a plus 4.5. And taking away 4.5 from both sides, I can write minus 4.5 is equal to 6.25a. And now dividing both sides by 6.25, I can write minus 4.5 divided by 6.25 is equal to a. This implies a is, you can use a calculator, I already worked this out, this is 0 0.72. Okay, so let us do that. Uh, menu run minus 4.5 divided by 6.25, which is minus 0 0.72. Minus 0 0.72 is the stretch factor. It tells you the stretch factor, and also the negative tells you it has gone upside down. So the equation of the parabola is y is equal to negative 0 0.72 x squared plus 4.5. It's pretty easy. Okay, now is the next part. You have to use this to answer this question. A loaded truck has a rectangular cross section which is 2.9 meters wide. So this is 
the cross section of the truck so let us say this is the cross section of the truck and the truck sits like this okay so you're seeing the you can look at the uh, we are seeing the back side of the truck so if the if it is 2.9 meters wide i can say this point would be minus 1.45 or half of 2.9 is 1.45 and this point would be 1.45 so the question is when x is 1.45 what's the value of y is it more than 3.3 .3 or less than 3.3 .3? that's the question okay so we know uh, 1.45 plus 1.45 is 9 and that's why or in other words 2.9 divided by 2 is 1.45 so let us put x as let us put x is equal to 1.45 and find what is y that's the question so let us put so y is equal to negative 0 0.75 72 sorry negative 0. Point, negative okay so y is equal to negative 0. 0.72 times 1.45 squared plus 4.5 so we need to calculate it to work this out so this is uh, so delete minus 0. 0.7 72 times 1.45 squared plus 4.5 gives you 2.9862 okay so this is so y is equal to 2.9862 so in other words when if the truck is one 2.9 meters wide the height can only be 2.98 Okay, you can't have the height of the truck more than 2.9862. So the question is, will the truck fit the tunnel? No. Okay, why? You can say no because, because the truck, uh, the truck uh, with, uh, with the width of 2.9 meters can have can have height less than uh, less than it should be less than 2.98 or you can say 2.99 meters so it's about 2.99 meters okay or let me write the whole thing it should be less than that okay so it's it should be better to round down less than 2.98 meters okay i'm not rounding up so it's meters okay because it is better to be uh, less than the required height 